Hey, I'm back. And so am I. Oh, he's back as well. Oh, okay. Will's back. I'm Al. Hmm. Says Will. Let's talk Honda Civic Honda. RS. Right. Okay, sedan. Mm-hmm. Right. So. It's one of these cars that is a total and utter contradiction. Because it's got a sporty touch to it. If you look, I'm talking just looking at the car. The looks-wise on the car. Looks-wise. It's all sport. Well, it, but it's conservative sedan style still. Well, yeah, it's a four-door yeah, saloon. Four-door saloon, et cetera, et cetera. It's got a lot of sporty touches to it, fully agree. Yeah. But it comes down to driving styles. Right. And lifestyle, I suppose, to a point. Yeah. Is, first of all, in today's world, who wants a saloon? Let's just put it there. Yeah, but you see, yeah, he just proves, as always, what I always say about him. Okay? I also want a two-door sports car. I also yeah. want a big SUV. Yeah, well, exactly, I want, yeah. I want a Gladiator. I want, there's lots of stuff I want. I know, well. well what would I actually spend my money on? For what I pay you, you can so get all of them just now. This, 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 this is as close as any car's ever gotten to me whipping out my checkbook and buying one. Okay, that's, that's you. It's I must be honest. Very close. It is, look, it's a Honda, first of all. And it's built to Honda standards. You can yep. see the quality, the fit, the finish. Yep. It's got a great motor. It's got all these things. Well, on paper, it doesn't. On paper, it's a 1.5 yep. turbo with 131 kilowatts and 240 newton meters of torque. And it doesn't look very exciting. No. Made to no. a seven-speed CVT box. Correct. It yep. really doesn't look exciting. It looks about as much fun as paper mache, wet paper mache, throwing to, throwing to the wall and seeing what sticks. The thing I'm telling you is, unless you drive it hard in sport mode all the time, and there's a penalty to that a, in fuel consumption. There's a difference between hard and enthusiastic. Right. So in, 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 in parlance, beg to differ if there, you drive it with enthusiasm and you actually engage with the vehicle and the driving experience, it is exceptional. No, but okay. Uh, put it this way. Where and how often do you have a road and opportunity to drive that way? Every day to the school and school no, run and no. back. That's why your poor kid's terrified 99% of the time. He's never terrified. He's got a big smile on his face and occasionally he has a little scream. Yeah, well. <laughs> but look, it's, it's, there's nothing, I've got nothing that I can pick on about that car that I don't like. It is a very likable, very comfortable, very smooth car with a Jekyll and Hyde side to it. Well, yeah, and, and, and yes, I mean, the, 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 now the obvious comparison that I made earlier was to the WRX, but I had my pricing incorrect. It's 200,000 Rand more for the WRX, and that's a big difference. It's a massive difference. I it's mean, a big you, difference. You in, I mean, the guy that can afford, now let's just chuck in the price quickly, seeing as we're talking. 680. 80, yeah. For the, the Civic RS, and you're talking, as we said, I think it's 870 odd for the, for the WRX. So they're different buyers, yeah. because... Well, generally speaking. Yeah. But that's not the point. But, okay, it's the closest comparison in the, on the South African market right now. Mm -hmm. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. They both, for the enthusiastic driver. Yes. Uh, as a, the, the Jekyll side of the RS, I would say I wouldn't haul out my checkbook right now. Which one's which? Jekyll is the mad one. Well, well, whichever. The, Hyde is the, the good one. Okay, the, 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 the good conservative one. The good conservative one? On the you good wouldn't... conservative one side, it's a good car, but I would not haul out my checkbook for it right now on the good conservative side. Sure. Uh, if I, I, want, if I, I wanted a car that I could play mad on a weekend when I go through to Hearties or something, I, I get your Jekyll and Hyde uh -huh. or your, I, where it does have that hidden away somewhere. Uh -huh. But... It also, even in more conservative driving, like my driving, Yes. when I drove it, and I only drove it for a much shorter period than you, you did most of this test, mm. the consumption was still like around the eight mark. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that would be realistic. And I don't think you're going to do much better with that no. car, no matter how you drive it. Yeah. Now, for the conservative side, that's heavy. Yeah. So that is a bit of a penalty to it, I've got to be honest. But Honda have got plenty of other models in the range to cater for you in that. I so know. Well, no, they don't. They do not. You can buy a Jazz. No. I happen to like a sedan still, okay? The, the conservative sedan style. In the previous generation of the Civics, they had the Sport. Yes. 
which was, funny enough, the same actual drivetrain. Mm -hmm. It was the 131, 240, it was exactly the same, but it, was, it didn't have the slightly more manic side to it somehow. I don't know what they've done that's different. Now, chassis. Yeah, they've done, they've done some tuning to the chassis Suspension. and they've probably reprogrammed Box. the CVT no. and a number yeah. of things like that. I like that sport version. There is a test way back on the channel on that. That just was a more daily to me. Can yeah. I call it that? Now, you know, in our dream world, you and I would both own six or eight cars. But in the realistic world, when you've got the money and you can't even afford to buy one car these days, so, but you've got to buy one car, that's the question mark. So that, that, that for me was exactly the question. If I had to buy one car, what would it be? So that one car has got to take me down to the coast on my annual pilgrimage because I'm a proper sapper and that's what we do. It's got to take me away my weekends away when we go around in Pumalongo, Limpopo, wherever the hell we go. And it's got to be able to do all of that and keep me satisfied in terms of the fact that every now and then I just want to let my head down and have some fun mm. with the car. Okay. And that Civic mm. RS ticks all those boxes. For you. Tick, 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 tick. For you. Done, done, done. I repeat, for you. It doesn't quite get there for me, but it's a good car. Please, it is a good car. It's a fantastic car. It really is. It is a I, fantastic, I fantastic would, car. I would like to see the sport model brought back in the range, mm -hmm. probably if this is 680, under 600, mm -hmm. and I think I could be very happy with that. With, as an RS in that in that guise. No, as the call as, the sport. As call of the call sport. Call the sport, and the RS becomes yeah, the halo I above it. I think I think I think I think the RS nomenclature is. It's I'm, owned, I'm not it's even, owned by another bear, another brand. Well, there's that, put too. It that way. But and, and and that brand has mm. just done stupid things with it. It's just you know over the top. Well, there's that as well. So whereas, whereas this is mm. kind of like Honda sensible, Honda yep. Japanese. But do you, do you get my point? I'd like yeah. just one step below this at a decent price discount. I'd, I could then live with it. I'd, Absolutely. I'd still buy one. Well, three hats. Give me give me the hats. Give me the hats. You want hats? I want hats. In fact, I'll. I know you're only going to give it two, so just give me the. Four. I'm going to give, give it me two. your hat. No, you don't. Give me your hat. Only go. No, no, no. It I'm was giving it two. A fantastic car. Definitely only a two hat for me. You should buy one. Don't listen to him. From Willow. See you next time. <laughs>